Welcome to the Handed Down Kitchen, where we bring recipes out of the past and back into the kitchen. With the days now getting shorter, this week we've recreated a 1980s dessert called Autumn Pie. Autumn Pie is a blackberry or loganberry meringue pie that bursts with the warming flavours of autumn. We found this recipe in our copy of The Best of Cooking, which was published in 1987 and have used blackberries that we foraged a few weeks back and froze. The recipe says to eat the pie cold, which is lovely, we've tried it, but in our opinion it's much nicer when eaten hot with pouring cream. So there's the recipe on the left hand side, and to make it you will need the following ingredients. 225 grams of plain flour, a quarter of a teaspoonful of salt, 100 grams of butter, one whole egg, 100 grams of caster sugar, 350 grams of blackberries or loganberries, 3 tablespoonfuls of gooseberry jam, 2 teaspoonfuls of corn flour, 3 egg whites, and 6 tablespoonfuls of icing sugar. We're going to start by making a short crust pastry case, so first sieve the flour and the salt into a bowl. Then rub the butter into your flour. This is easiest to do when your butter is cold and already cut up into little cubes like we've done. Next, crack in your whole egg and stir it all in to combine all of the ingredients. And finally, add in two tablespoonfuls of your caster sugar and then mix this all together again. Bring the pastry together with your hands and form it into a dough. And once you've got all of this nicely together, put it in the fridge to chill for at least 20 minutes. Once your pastry has chilled, it's time to roll it out. Short crust pastry can be particularly fragile, and we find it useful to roll it out onto a bit of cling film or baking paper sprinkled with flour like we're going to show you here. It really makes a difference when you come to line your baking tin with it, as you'll see in a moment. The recipe doesn't say how thinly to roll out your pastry, so we've rolled ours to about the thickness of a pound coin. Now 
Have a well buttered tart tin ready and flip your pastry into it. And this is where the cling film or baking paper comes in handy. Very gently push your pastry into all of the edges and patch up any holes or cracks wherever necessary. And then tidy up the top. We're going to be blind baking the case, so prick the base a few times with a fork and then put in some greaseproof paper and fill with baking beans. Put this to bake in an oven preheated to 160 degrees Celsius, which is 325 degrees Fahrenheit or gas mark 3, for 15 to 20 minutes until golden, and ours took 15 minutes. Remove the baking beans and just leave the pastry to cool down in the tin completely before moving on to make the filling. To do this, start by putting your blackberries or loganberries into a sieve over a medium sized saucepan so that the juice collects in the pan. Pour the rest of the caster sugar over them and mix these together a bit with a spoon before leaving for about 10 minutes. Adding the sugar will draw out a little more of the juice as well as sweetening up the pie filling. Take the berries away and set your pan with the juice in over a low heat. Blend the corn flour with one tablespoonful of water and stir this into the berry juice. Bring this to the boil and allow it to simmer until it's thickened before removing from the heat. Then add your berries to the sauce and stir these a little before leaving them to cool down completely. And it shouldn't take long at all for the filling to cool down as your berries are already cold. While you're waiting for your filling to cool down, spread your gooseberry jam all over the pastry base. A couple of weeks back we made some absolutely gorgeous gooseberry jam using a 1930s recipe and we've got just enough left to use here. We'll link you to our video recipe for the jam at the end of this video, it's well worth making. Once your jam's down, spoon in your blackberry mixture and here's where it starts to look autumnal. The very last thing to do before rebaking is to make the meringue topping. So put your egg whites in a bowl, sift over them your icing sugar, and then whisk these up. Whisk until you have a lovely stiff meringue.
and then put your meringue into a piping bag fitted with a star nozzle. And then just start piping your meringue over your pie filling in a lattice. We started out alright but somewhere along the line lost the plot a little so our crisscrosses weren't perfectly uniform but in the grand scheme of things this doesn't really matter does it? Then pop back in the oven to bake at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit or gas mark 4 for 15 minutes. Once it's done, leave to cool down completely before removing from the tin and serving. Now, as we mentioned before, the recipe says to serve this pie cold. We tried it cold and it was nice, but later on we tried it hot and it was so much better. The jam makes the tart very sweet, which means it's even better with a splash of pouring cream. And we can see why it's called autumn pie. It's full of the cozy, warming flavours of autumn. Absolutely delicious. We hope you enjoyed this video, if so please be sure to leave us a like and if you're interested in seeing us recreate more antique recipes, subscribe to our channel. You can also find full instructions for this recipe and many more on our website linked in the description box below.